is adds a another uh, fast point area, of course. <clears throat> I don't know. I in a way make it make those farmers feel a little safer. I think. Boom. Alright, let's go take care of that breach real quick. That is way too close to this farm. Just too close. There we go, I can hop over shit. Ooh, what's in this? See what I mean though? There's so much to look at. The Defender Imperium. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go down a little more. There we go again. And one more time for good measure. There you go. So much to read, so much to see, so much to do. It's crazy. What's this? Heartfelt request. Lost. Prize winning Gruffalo. Truffy. Run off when demons attack. Last seen down in the gully. Reward it found and returned to Farmstead. Okay. Someone's lost their poor Truffy. Oh. <laughs> Cute. Bam. Oh God. Oh, I didn't even see myself doing that. Okay, cool. Bring it on. Nope. More bullshit magic. I'm probably gonna get hit. Yep. God damn it. More seconds, I'm fine. Ah! Let's try that again. Are you ready? Yep. Bada bing, bada boom. You never did tell me why you dragged me to Haven Seeker. I mean, what could I have told the Divine that you couldn't say yourself? I thought she needed to see the chest there for herself. Tears lover. Huh. I, I say again. I thought she needed to hear it from the horse's mouth, as it were. I also knew she would ask you to help us. Okay. Help the Inquisition? Me? A crazy thought, I know. Yet here you are. Yep. Face of Eric, you're a good guy. Through and through. Alright, we've got those, but here's what we're going to do with them. In the saddle. Yes, I know it's completed. I did it a while ago. Right, go ahead and do it. Nice! Oh wow, that explosive bolt didn't kill it right off the bat. Jeez. I'd have thought it would have. Oh well. Alright, let's see. I've got another one of those um, star maps up here. Let's take a look at it. I really do like how your character shows how they're. Uh, yeah, jump! There we go. Having some issue getting up. That's pretty cool. So let's see. I've done this one too before, but yeah, we'll see how well it goes on this time. Let's do that. Bring you over. That. That. Oh, I screwed up. Damn it. Hold on. Let's do this. That.
This should do it, right? Or maybe not. Yeah, no, I screwed up again, damn it! Ugh. Okay. This. There. Uh-huh. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. This should work. Yes, got it. Constellation Paraquilius. If I'm pronouncing that right. I assume once we find all of them in the area, um, that beam of light, they're going to point us to something special. I'd assume, at least. Very creepy shard. Got you. What else do we have? Shards, Swarm and Security. Let's go check that one out. What? I'll see what it has to offer. But, oh my god, overall this seems just great. I mean, just this water texture. This is phenomenal. You go back and you look at the old Dragon Age, um, their water textures. I mean, yes, of course, the, um, Technology back then was severely limited, but this is just a prime example of um, exactly what can be achieved nowadays. It it is fantastic. Can I get up there? No. Okay. Okay. Found loot. Carta... Carta coat. Alright. I think Varric can actually wear that. Let me see here. Carta coat. Yeah. Yeah, what the hell. Yeah, he's the only one who can anyway. Dwarf trained only. It, I'm definitely glad that, unlike from Dragon Age 2, you can actually equip your party members with, um... They're with different sets of looking armor. While I think I understood why they did it, maybe to make it more personalized um, for for each character in uh, Dragon Age Two, it it just sucked because they would never change how they looked unless you were either romancing them or if. Um, I believe you had to get all pieces of their armor, which is throughout the entire game, that you had to get this. And you, you had to be real careful, because you could so easily miss stuff. Um, and sometimes it looked a lot different. Like, Anner's armor, for instance, looked very cool once it finally changed. All right, so that's one watchtower we found. Damn it, I did it again. Crap. I don't remember a very exchange though. I had a hell of a time trying earlier. We'll go take care of those wolves though. Yeah. That's something to be worth worth it for sure. Mountain. Just the animation of your character walking up or down the mountains is very, very good. Spindleweed. Go. Alright. Um, but yeah, it, it was just really weird that you couldn't change how your character looked. Uh, your companions, I, I should say. Um, Dragon Age 2, especially from Origins, where you could. It was just—it was just so bizarre. It was just like, why can't I? Just weird stuff. But they fixed it now. I doubt you me a bandits. 
They moved with the efficiency of a trained group. Oh, good. At least we have the heads up. Um, but, I mean, overall, this game looks like it's more or less the culmination of everything good and bad that they fixed from the previous Dragon Ages. Like, you've got more of the open world sense from Dragon Age Origins. Um, and you still got the. Of course, you've got. Must be the wolf. Master Dennis wife warned us about. Uh, but you've got the fact that the character actually talks. Your character. In this one. Ooh. Getting fucked up. Circling around this beast. Okay. More goody. All right. No way to get in here. Let's go on that way. Um. And with Dragon Age 2, of course, you had a nice graphic boost compared to Origins. <laughs> That cave could be the lair of our strange wolves. Uh huh. Um. So that was good. Let's see. And sleep. Bam. What's up, Wolfie? Oh hell. Let's take care of the wolves first. Then we can all focus on the demon. Die, Debbie! Shit, Bash keeps knocking me down. Tries to go. Yeah. With the demon dead, the farmers should be safe from the wolves. I expect the wolves are also pleased to be freed from the demon's control. That's some pretty weird stuff. No idea that a demon could do that. Actually, control animals. It's really not that far fetched, of course, but it's just interesting. Alright, cool. That wasn't there some here we go. A couple other little things in this area too. Let's see. Some loot. Of course a presence armor. Might be good for a Solus if he's at the right level. Hopefully he is. Let's see, guess. Oop, and now we go. Right, let's make sure there's nothing else in this little area. No smart statue thing. Um. Oh, wait, what's this? What the hell? Oh, this is like their uh, bone pit. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, it sucks to be those guys. Hopefully those weren't the farmers. Some of the farmers, anyway. Yeah. It'd be a pretty grisly fate. What's one I would care for? Getting eaten by wolves. Pretty bad way to go, really. Cool. You look at our map. Kinda, I kind of want to give that one a shot. I'm just worried it's so close to that breach, or that rift. Right, here, we're just gonna go ahead and travel real quick, cause I don't feel like walking all that way back. It's it's not a long ways, of course, but see, why walk when you can just do that? Yeah, there we go. 
an exclamation mark here. A letter in an empty home. Indran, they're telling everyone to leave until the mages and Templars stop burning everything down. I saw the way the merchants were looking, though. If we just flee, they'll pick our houses clean. I'm taking our little our little project to the cave in the hills up north. You know the one. It'll be safe there until all until this all blows over. Hessel. Huh. Okay. A project, you say? What project do you mean exactly? Hmm? Alfred, I I just really like that about the game. Like I really like how these plants when are just growing in nice random spots throughout the area. It feels so much more natural than it did off of Dragon Age 2 where while there wasn't like some I, I don't remember there being stuff that was just in odd places, but it it, it just felt kinda weird. In places where it was. Hey, guess what? No more wolves. You deal with the wolves. Hey. And our farmers will be safe again. Oh, well, guess what? The wolves should be back to normal now. They shouldn't be any further trouble. That's good to hear. I'll send word to the farmers and let my husband know what you've done. Uh-huh. It may not seem like much, but you've given this land hope it desperately needed. More power! Good, good, good. Right, we've also got a watchtower right here. And there's another one. Let's see, no, there's another seeing red. That's kind of in a bad spot too, so I'm not worried. Let's see, got more shards. Oh no, there it is, right there. We'll probably just fast travel to that further one. This one's close enough, I think. You know what? Actually, let's get our horse. Well, let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wrong button. Ride my steed. I ho silver away. <laughs> oh boy, this game's gonna be tons of fun. And don't worry, I'm fixing to jump out of the hinterlands. I think I've got one more area I'm wanting to take a look at before we go and see all the breaches there. After that, we'll go back to Haven and proceed further. Um, but yeah, right now we're just gonna stick it here for a little bit more. Good. Just got one more. Yeah, I, I don't know. Basically, whenever my teammates pop in and out of that, I like to think they're in my pocket. And they, and you know, of course, when I need them. I pull them out of my pocket and it's like, hey, come on, let's go, let's do stuff. Can you get across water? You can, that's a good horse. There's enemies over there, I don't want to fight them. They might be strong. Faster! Wait, wait, wait. Good horse, good horse. I gotta give this horse a name. I'm gonna call you Uncle Ben. That's who you're gonna be, horse. You're gonna be Uncle Ben the horse. What the hell? Hold on. Hold on, Uncle Ben. This looks worth checking out. Hmm. This one, yeah, this one's actually off of, um, kind of a reference back to Dragon Age Origins, because, of course, there's a boy Connor you can choose to help. Oh, damn. Took care of that right quick, didn't we? Yeah. Connor's got his own fort. And this is really interesting of itself, because, um, now, I remember coming here before in that other save I keep mentioning where I didn't record. Um, Templar encampments, yeah, we've already taken care of that. Um, let's see. Okay, looks like we're good. But when I came here before, I hadn't taken care of the encampment, but there were 
Templars and shit in there. But now, it looks like I was right. Where you just don't have to worry about the Templars anymore. So that's pretty damn cool. Let's see, I gotta find a way to get up there. Is there any way? No. Not a chance in hell. Your abilities are remarkable, Seeker. It is fascinating to see how you and the Templars negate magic. Have you never encountered Templars before? Only at a distance. I am an apostate after all. And they never caught up to them even once. I am a very careful apostate. Right, yeah, so in that one, this build of watchtowers, we actually have to complete it elsewhere in the map, but you know, it's as simple as sending off sending someone off to go do it. So it's not hard. Now let's get this um shard real quick that's somewhere over here. <laughs> Get off of that body, bird. Wait, wait, wait. Let me open this. Yeah, and... So, yeah, this was obviously that little place I was getting ravaged. Under the protection of the Inquisition. Cool. So it looks like I was right, where... Since we took out the encampments, they're no longer going to be fighting. At least not here. So that's pretty damn cool. I like that a lot. That's very cool. And the fires have even been put out. So I, I'm wondering if maybe there's a chance we'll come back here and um, maybe they'll start trying to rebuild this place. Like I assume with the watchtowers, for instance, that we're going to stumble up on this and there'll be darn it the watch showers will of course be built is that oh no I think it's right cliffs flag maybe I'm not sure Get damn more elf fruit Urgh! yummy yummy elf fruit alright Okay, let's, um... I'm gonna check out that black spot real quick. It's bugging me. I just, I like to have a clear map, anyway. So let's see... Oh, more iron. Damn it. Damn iron. Damn giving me supplies. It should be just ahead of my right. Yeah, no, I'm gonna collect that. I think I should have. Yeah, okay, there we cleared it up. Although, is that camp where the Templars were? Or not Templars, yeah, mages. Okay. Alright, well, now that we've got that cleared out, um. Let's go. here. So that's where we've got a few other of our little quests. Um, and this will be the last place I go to for now. Um, there's a quest and whatnot. This once, as I said before, once we get done in this little area with. Because I'm eager too, I know you guys are eager too. Um, but there is a little bit more to check out here. So we're gonna check it out. La dee dee, la dee dum. Dwarfs and pass. Come on, do it. Yeah, there you go. I love that it actually shows that it's not so easy getting up that. A letter found on a dead Templar, Elandra. Huh, that sounds kind of familiar. I don't know how this will reach you, but with a lot of strength of my shaking hands, what else could I do but write you? Um, whether it be in med whether it be the magic of this cursed breach or the Maker punishing me for abandoning my vows, the end is coming. The terrors are with me more often than not. I came up here to try to find some peace with these believers, but the platitudes, they melt their cold comfort. If my hand falls to demons on my own, or my own darkness, I fear that even a weakened Templar will cause too much harm. I took a drought of bitter herbs. It will be over soon. I wish my weakness had not stopped me from meeting you um, with your phylactrophy. <laughs> I knew just where you were, but the madness 
of your side and mine was too great a gap. Um, make her save you, stay safe, you need no circle if you carry it within you. Love, Matron. Plactrophies. Right, this is basically just saying that their vials of blood that gave the Templars the ability to track mages or apostates that ran away from the circles. That's basically it. Wait! Eric, I need you to uh, hit that one. Go. Okay, I definitely said that one. Okay. Ah, goody. More loot for us. Ram meat. Yummy. Delicious. Get over the damn wall. I want to get over the wall. Thank you. Hello. I know you. They call you the Herald of Andraste for what you did at Haven. But are you? The Maker has not told me. Uh, I'm not certain to be perfectly frank. I honestly don't know myself. As I suspected. Stories of you master in the rifts are just blind heresy. No, 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 that's true. No, I can seal rifts. <laughs> then prove it. Show me that the rifts bend to your will. The will of the maker. Show me the power you wield. Okay. This cult. What are you doing out here? What is it you think is happening? The Chantry has fallen and shown its imperfection in doing so. The Chant of Light was a lie. Great. It was arrogance to think that mortal lips could frame the Maker's will. And so we wait in silence. The Maker has opened the sky. Soon he will call his Chosen back to the Golden City. Sure. Until later. Until the Maker brings you back to us. So go figure when hardships happen, people get a little crazy. I suppose it only natural that some would turn to worshipping the Breach. In hopes of appeasing it. Yeah. Lord Lornan's exile. Go down for you guys. How did the maker bring you to these hills? We got someone over here. Loot. And got a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like right here. Is it on the other side or something? No big deal. Alright, well, let's check out a couple of things in this uh, cult real quick. Look at that. They've got a, a rift right there. And they're just minding their own business not 50 feet from the damn thing. And you? How did the maker bring you here? I, uh, I'm from Redcliffe Village. When the rebel mages took over, I had to get out. No sense staying and waiting for the Templars. To Let's see, Queen Asha of Antivia. Down. Yeah, how dumb are these cultists? I mean, God, cults in general are very, very interesting of their own right, but jeez. I think they have some idea of self-preservation. Guess not. More loot. Thank you. Go out of the way, dude. Climbing up the ladder, cause I'm the Inquisitioner. Hello? Hindo. Well, greet you. My name is Hindo. Well, guess what? Hindo, your mother can't breathe. Your father sent me here for potion. She was fine. She hasn't had the breathing trouble in... All right, I can help. Here, I have some already made. Go, take it to her now. Cool. At least he wasn't a jerk. He, of course, still wants to help his mom. That's good. Although you think he would have left the recipe for the potion before he left. We want no trouble here. Go feel another of the elven artifacts. Can you? Well then, let's find the damn thing. 
climbing up the ladder. I don't know if these are actually doing anything. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. Let's see. The wards are working. It should be harder for tears to form here. Cool. I mean, possibly they are actually protecting the places, which, of course, you know, it's fine with me. Let's do that. Let's see. Good God, you guys got money just lying around. Who's not picking up their wallet? Seriously. Somewhere over there. Okay, hold on. I'm a coming. Whoop. Damn it. 